The sky is blue, the grass green. My sad eyes who the alien sing. I am again the child I was having no pain more than the grass. Hope for some rest. Give me a home, a hope a nest, not to stray from. Oh, could my heart? I've had. Uh, first idea for this play um, some seven years ago. It took, took a while to, to, to write it, write it down. Uh, Marilyn's icon is so fascinating, is so uh, intriguing. My first, my first uh, question uh, was uh, how do I do it uh, for the theatre stage and still, uh, still be interesting for, for, the, for the audience? Because people uh, know a lot about Marilyn Monroe, uh, her life, there are a lot of works, uh, books written on it, uh, documentaries, uh, films, uh, so um, it, was, it was a challenge. Uh, my main goal uh, was uh, to address this to two different actresses uh, of two different generations, uh, this uh, hard, difficult relationship between mother and daughter. Gladys and Marilyn were the exes, the the the, the first the first uh, clue to, to to build the play. Uh, and at the time, I was really uh, thinking into uh, to Portuguese actresses. So uh, it's always very inspirational for a playwright to write uh, having in mind uh, uh, specific uh, persons. I felt that I I would need uh, a third character, uh, Lydia Martinez. Um, something that uh, lures me much, dealing uh, with the theater, the, the theater that deals with itself and defying uh, the place of the spectator. And I think this play goes uh, further on on that way. Uh, it, it took a, a, a great um, pleasure for me to make this game. Uh, with the audience, yes, yes, uh, because the audience will be real uh, implicated uh, in what is happening. Try and show how we can uh, deal with the dramatic in a, in a time where we speak about uh, uh, non-dramatic uh, forms of theatre. You're so discouraging, Mama. Don't! Don't say that! As authors, we want to have some kind of, of control on what is going on. But at the same time, I'm aware that in, uh, when we are making a play, you have to give space to the voices of the characters, to uh, listen to them. It's, it's, uh, it's a flesh and blood writing. What is between myself? We were working in two songs for this performance. Last it should be. Inside her eyes as a desperate child Who seems so tender, her mind get wild I stared at her beauty, she saw me and smiled Alone in that fall, she was still so far From the sun she became But every flash of her glowing light Was it all the same? It was such an honor to work um, with uh, Armando and get inspired by Marilyn Monroe. I used to, to listen uh, to her music, but I never learned uh, about uh, her life and uh, um, the way she suffers and uh, it was a journey. The big issue in, in, the, in the first place was to um, have something that could uh, honor uh, somehow uh, the, the, the memory and the, uh, the, the, the legacy of Marilyn. So uh, the, this song, uh, Goddess Within, imagine a meeting with, uh, with a young Marilyn before uh, she 
uh, rise to stardom? When I was uh, recording, I imagined all that uh, to get inspired because it's not just to sing. It's an interpretation. Uh, after composing it, uh, the, the task was theirs. <laughs> because the first, the first uh, uh, version uh, is entirely uh, made by Marcel and with interpretation of Laura's. My, my voice uh, has, has nothing to do with uh, Marilyn Monroe's voice, but I tried to um, get some... Uh, some capture, capture yeah, something from And I'm very, very happy with, with both of you. Yeah. Uh, Laura and Marcel also composed another piece for, for the, the show. It's uh, a song uh, that I uh, challenge them to, to do from a poem by François, the, the Portuguese modernist poet. Because we have to, to meet the expectations uh, of the director and the playwright. Uh, we have to do some um, investigation. We have to, to listen to uh, different uh, musics and uh, and, uh, and then we have to find our, our own way. I was trying to feel like Marilyn Monroe in the Goddess, Goddess Within. It was uh, a man, I think, a man that, uh, that met Norma Jean in the summer moments. It was Marilyn Monroe, the, the way she feels. So it was, uh, it was more difficult because I... Yeah, to be a nurse. <laughs> it's a big, big uh, responsibility. Yes. And it was a challenge in all uh, in the two songs, both songs, because uh, it's not my uh, the style that I used to sing. So uh, I, I love it. I felt that moment. Uh, yeah, and I, I dressed like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> and you even bought a wig, yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a wig, a Melon's wig. <laughs> As a magical spell, she rose like a flower in a prison cell. The mask she created was a sign of farewell. Alone in a bar, she was still so far from the sun she became. But every flash of her glowing light was there all the same?